from the Rug Badger and um, I'm here to talk about the Rug Revolution today and about bearing designs to run from. Well, I'm just going to give you a little bit of history here. Um, when we first started this project, we, we quickly realized that the bearing was is the heart and the soul of this machine. I mean, we had to have um, one great big bearing that could wrap all the way around the cylinder to support it um, because there's huge amounts of force involved. My engineer, he's calculated that there's over 30,000 pounds of radial force when there's a, when there's a large uh, and wet rug in, in, the, um, in the cylinder and that, that radial force is, is vibrating at the same time so it has to be a very strong and sturdy bearing design. Well. Uh, when we first started looking, we we quickly found out that a if we could get a bearing that was going to be that size, it was going to cost like a huge amount of money. So uh, we started looking around at other ways of doing it. And he said, "Well, you know what? We could try another design." He said, "I I haven't really done this before, but you know, let's uh, let's take a look at it." And he started uh, engineering uh, a design which would mean there would be four or five small bearings that would cradle the cylinder. And um, I'm just going to put up a, I'm going to put up a, um, a document right now so you can see what our early bearing design actually uh, looked like. And, um, and then you can, uh, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. So at any rate, um, he started uh, with this design and uh, we started actually uh, playing around with it. And, um, you know, one day I got a call very, very early in the morning. Now, first off, you could understand, I'm in British Columbia, Canada. And my engineer, he's actually in Alabama. And so he calls me, uh, you know, like, I'm, I think it was like 5 o'clock in the morning. He calls me um, and he says, I just threw away the design. I just threw away all our blueprints um, and we're not going to build it that way. And I went, why not? Why aren't you doing it? And he said, well, he said, I couldn't sleep last night. He said, I have been having nightmares that... When we get the machine out there, that it's actually going to fall apart. It's going to blow apart those little bearings. They won't be able to stand up to the high speed. He said, apparently, what happens when you put the, the, the four or five smaller bearings around, those bearings have to spin so fast to keep up with the big wheel, the big, the big cylinder, that uh, the bearings will be at their maximum RPM range. And he said, I said, on top of that, when you have that 30,000 pounds of radial force trying to, trying to get out, you know, trying to get away, um, he said it's just going to eat them right up. He said the bearings just can't last under those under those uh, circumstances. And he said, and I'm not willing to stand behind this with with my signature as an engineer and sign off on this. He says so there wouldn't be any manufacturer's liability insurance if I won't sign off on it. Uh, he said so I'm just not going to build it. And so I of course myself not being an engineer I'm. You know, I respect my engineer um, like hugely. I said, uh, well, we better better do it uh, the other way. Let's do it, you know, like the Europeans do with the one big bearing. They've been doing it for years like that. It's been working. He said, okay, let's go ahead. So uh, <clears throat> um, what happened is he couldn't find a bearing that was big enough to actually wrap all the way around the cylinder um, and be able to deal with the, the high RPM. So what he did is he worked in conjunction with the world's foremost bearing engineering firm to come up with a design that would be be able to deal with the load and the RPM and the vibration so that um, that so that uh, he would be able to sign off on the rug revolution and and, um, and put our manufacturer's liability insurance on the machine as well so we're really proud of our bearing design we know it's brutal tough it can deal with even the busiest, highest volume rug cleaning plants in the world. And it's never going to have any problems with that bearing. And that's why we've actually we put a five year warranty on that bearing that you will not have any problems with it. You probably will get decades and decades and decades of profit, profitable service out of it before you ever see any sort of a problem with it. Um, all you do is you just change the oil and the bearing once a year and, uh, and away you go making money, um, cleaning rugs and making people happy. So again, my name is Dusty and I want to encourage you to find out more. You can phone me, you can email me, uh, but most importantly, I'm going to encourage you to search out other people, 
um, around the world that are actually using centrifuges and ask them uh, what their experience is. Ask them what sort of bearing design that that uh, that they um, that, that that their machines are. And even you know, if you know an engineer, ask your engineer uh, what what design you think would be better, whether it be a multiple uh, bearing design or a single bearing design. And um, and then um, and and then uh, come and talk to me, and I'll be happy to uh, um, to let you know where rug revolutions are, so you can see them in action and try it out for yourself to see the difference that a rug revolution can make for your business. So again, my name is Dusty, and I'm here to help you get more out of rugs.